in this lecture we'll go over what z indexes are and how to use them in mitsubishi gx works 3 so in general z indexers are indirect pointers you can use them to offset your memory that you're looking at and kind of you can fill more registers compared to doing individual moves if you had to so what we'll do is we'll do a move we'll do a move instruction here and I'll move D100 into Z0 that's one way to do it you can move any constant into Z and stuff like that and then the next line what we'll do is we'll move D101 into D111 for Z0 so here what it does is it basically acts like a pointer so if you think about it Z anything in Z0 would be added to D111 so if I've got a 1 in Z0 it's gonna make it D112 which is 112 it adds a 1 if I have a 10 here it's gonna be D121 now the only problem is you cannot cross-reference D121 even if I have if, even if it's being used in the program because it's used via Z indexer so let's monitor the register so you can see what I'm talking about I'll put in D105 actually D115 and in D120 okay there we go so now if you see there's nothing in there so I put a five I put a one in here actually let's leave it to zero D101 as five so I need to enter that guy D15 and D120 uh, wrong register okay so as you can see in my Z0 is set to zero that means whatever is in D101 would move to D111 which is what we are seeing now I'm gonna make that zero it zeroed out D115 111 and then we'll make D100 as four so now whatever I put here would be in D115 so we'll put a six there you go that's how you offset stuff then we'll put a zero back in D101 it zeroed it out if I put a nine which would make D1111 plus nine would be D120 so if I put 256 that puts 256 in D120 now you can automate this by creating a little loop in the program where you keep on indexing until you go to a number and it can fill all the registers with that value so that's just one way you can use Z indexers in Mitsubishi GX Works 3 so we'll put a zero back in and it would zero out D120 so that's just a little brief introduction on Z's and how to use them in the program now you can also use them in M memory it's basically the same way what we'll do is we'll use the same Z register and point it to an M address so move uh, M 100 Z0 to oh, M 100 K, uh, we'll have to use a K you cannot I don't think you can do that but we'll try it out so 101 Z0 um, uh, yep nope I don't think I can do a move here so I'll have to do a coil so what if I do that shift M100 Z0 there you go so now what this would do is it would turn on bit M100 Z0 so right now M100 is on if I monitor that okay that is off actually yes because Z0 is not zero there you go now M100 is on as you can see but here's the weird part about it if I put a 5 that still says M100 Z0 is on but it's actually M101 so if I monitor M101 that's on if I have a 5 that would be M105 so now if you see all these are on together because these never turned off so you have to turn them off manually ah. okay go to that there you go this one I won't be able to turn off if you watch it there you go it turns back on 
So that's how you use these indexes with M. Same thing with timers and counters. You just put a Z0 or whatever indexer address you're using. Now keep in mind if you're planning to use it on numbers bigger than um, 30,000, 22,000, you would have to go to an LZ or it automatically uses two Z registers. So just keep that in mind. All right. I'll see you in the next lecture.